Hey you guys, it's uh, Miles here again with Gamespresso, and this is my let's play of Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's War. <coughs> Today, I'm going to be showing you guys something um, a little bit harder than what I've been doing. Uh, we're going into the third raid of Alexander, and I'll be tanking today, so you guys will be able to see it from a tank's perspective. This fight has a little bit going on, but um, should be enjoyable for you guys. Uh, my settings were turned off. Uh, right here is just ads, so uh, if you guys give me one second, I forgot to turn all the sound back on. People just group everything up and kill it. So I'm playing on my warrior, so I'll be off tanking um, this fight. Warriors have become really amazing off tanks in this new uh, expansion. Uh, they can still main tank pretty well, but um, on the other end of the spectrum, Paladins have become really, really great uh, main tanks. I mean, they kind of already were, but even better now, you know. So yeah, I guess you could think that the hat is the mini boss. No. The only other thing is the actual like boss fight boss. I like Alexander's all like steampunky. So this boss has three main forms and I'll talk about it as it goes along. It's uh it's really cool. You guys just going for it. So yeah, my job as an off tank here isn't um, too much different from like a normal DPS, but I do have to grab some things at the same point. So in human form, you kind of just want to dodge around all of his AoE. There's nothing really to worry about. That mark is AoE around me, and then he does AoE surface too. Okay, hand form. He's gonna do the. We all want to stack in the middle because he's gonna do these cleaves that we need to split amongst the party. And there's a like really big pushback that he does. Um, we do that until he splits into two smaller hands, which you'll see in a bit. Now I want to switch to my tank stamp because we want to be able to soak with damage.
Oh, my provoke didn't, my provoke didn't go off there for a second, so he took a lot more damage than he should have. But yeah, so when it splits, we need to um, each tank one of the hands and make sure the others didn't get, don't get hit by the AoE. Now this, um, we have to kill these adds before they get to the lightning. Um, because if they get to the lightning, they explode and do uh, raid-wide damage, which is really bad. It also applies vulnerability. Um, that orange tether that you just saw will one-shot basically any, uh, any, um, you know, non-tank, just because of the amount of damage it does on health. Um, so tanks want to always pick those up. And you can do that by running between the player that's ta tagged and the tornado, so you can run between them and you can pick it up. There's another kind of tether, it's a double tether, and it has like a magnet motif. There you can see it on that one guy. So, um, you know it works like magnets. If you're two, if you're the same sign, then you get pushed apart. So you want to run towards your tag partner because um, you don't want to be pushed into the lightning. And then, and then if you're opposite, you run a, you want to run away because um, if you're too far, if you're too close together, when it pulls you guys together, then it put it puts a ridiculous debuff on you that you don't want to have to deal with. And the uh, fight repeats in these phases until he gets to like 33% health. And then he goes into a superhuman form, which combines um, little bits and pieces of every single uh, one of his forms. See, that is how you handle them, like, right as soon as they split. And our DPS is actually really good, so we just push them into the superhuman form. That's his ultimate. <laughs> And now he starts applying uh, stacks of blunt resistance down to the main tank. And at five stacks, I want to take it from him so the um, so he doesn't get like wrecked, and the healers can keep up. Because I won't have any stacks.
And this group is actually the closest I've had to a perfect group for this run in a really long time. Like, no one has made a single mistake. Our DPS is really high. Um, all the switches went off perfectly. No one's gone down. Uh, we only got through... We didn't get through uh, more than one tornado phase. Like, we, got, we pushed them as soon as we could possibly push him in the super form. And yeah, this is really quick, so, um... I don't know, I might cut the video here when it dies. Oh! Healer's, uh... Something died. <laughs> That's fine, though. It's right at the end. They were probably DPSing to try and just finish it off. I don't need I don't need either of these. But yeah, I am uh, farming this content, so I think I'm gonna cut the video and see if I can get another really fast one. Okay, we got another group. Um, yeah, I'm just showing you guys once again A3 Alexander three. Um, the armor of the father. Um, looks like this time I might be a main thing. So you guys will see what it's like to have aggro the entire time. As opposed to the last one. So yeah, once again we just AOE down the abs. They don't really get that hard. Alright, so once again, no one's new, so we don't have to take time to explain. Human form, once again, there's AoE. Um, I just want to keep them face away from the party. And farm, we want to keep them together, everyone together, so we can split damage.
time I stay on the boss and the hot tank takes the other hand. Yep. Just like that. We want to separate the hands so the blunt resistance back doesn't and the cleave doesn't hit both of us. Um, but we want to keep them kind of close together so anyone who's doing AoE damage can hit both of them for our double damage against the ball. Easy peasy. Tornado form, like, like I said before, we just kill ads before they hit the edge and watch the tethers. See, that was bad because the healer... Sorry about that. That was bad because the healer ran near me there. Sorry, distracted IRL thing. Um, that tether, even though I take it from people, it still has an AoE, so... People do have to be careful. Our DPS this time around is a little bit lower. People still don't seem to be like too dumb about things, so it should be fun. Easy. Oh, we pushed them.
guy pulled off of me perfectly. Again, easy peasy. As long as people know this fight, it's actually not that bad. So you just gotta make sure you know it. But yeah, that was A3, um, Armor of the Father. Um, I'm Miles from Game Espresso. I hope you guys enjoy the little raid. Um, eight man content, uh, some of the latest content. There are savage versions of this fight now, which are harder difficulty ones, but um, I have actually yet to get past the first one. Um, there's a huge difficulty spike. But yeah, um, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and check out the Game Espresso channel um, and website. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.